Well, folks, there's a reason that the word student is the first part of student athlete. Work in the classroom is of utmost importance, and making the grade is part of the everyday responsibility of a Blue Raider student athlete. In addition to their hard work, there's a group of dedicated professionals that help provide guidance. The Student Athlete Enhancement Center is a wonderful service that gives Blue Raider student athletes a competitive advantage in the classroom. First of all, please give a wonderful staff a great round of applause tonight, the folks in the Student Athlete Enhancement Center. Our next series of awards is here to recognize those who have excelled in the classroom. We direct your attention to the screen as we honor those who have achieved a 3.0 grade point average. We ask those people, please stand when you see your name on the screen and remain standing for the remainder of this 3.0 group. Isn't that great to see such a big group of 3-0 students? Well, next, we honor those who have achieved a 3.5 or better during the fall semester. And again, stand when you see your name on the screen and remain standing until the entire group is introduced. Well, it is a terrific accomplishment to reach perfection, a 4.0 grade point average. And we are fortunate to have several student athletes who have attained this status. Todd Wyatt, director of the Student Athlete Enhancement Center, joins us on stage to make special presentations to each of our student athletes who achieved a 4.0 this fall. And they are, from men's tennis, Matthew Langley, From women's tennis, Nayara Moraes.
from women's tennis, Flavia Nagayama. From soccer, Kelsey Brandstetter. From soccer, Paige Gegline. From soccer, Greta Jockman. Also from soccer, Louisa Moscoso. From women's track, Shanice Daphnis. From women's track, Autumn Gibson. From women's track, Rachel Islam. From men's track and field, Festa Shamoy. From men's track, Michael Stokes. From volleyball, Morgan Peterson. From softball, Laura Dukes. Also from softball, Bethany Jones. From softball, Samantha Nieves. From softball, Katherine Tucker. From men's golf, Brett Patterson. From women's golf, Haley Cothran. And from women's golf, Stephanie Goff. These are your 4-0 students this year, and we also ask our 3-0s and 3-5s, you stand back up, and let's give all of our academic champions a great round of applause. As we continue our series of awards honoring those who have excelled in the classroom, please welcome the Vice President for Student Affairs and Vice Provost for Enrollment and Academic Services, Dr. Deborah Sells. Tonight I'm honored to present two awards to, do, to two very special student athletes. A male and female have been selected by the staff for making a personal commitment to their studies, and their recognition tonight is a testament that hard work does not go unnoticed. Our female winner is a member of the Blue Raider volleyball team. This rising senior played in 45 sets this season and registered 90 kills, including seven in an NCAA tournament match against Ohio State. I'm proud to announce our female winner of this wonderful award is Brandy Waller. Hello, I'd just like to thank the staff and the Enhancement Center for noticing my uh, Excuse me, for noticing me working hard. Thank you. Our male winner is from the Blue Raider football team. After redshirting in 2010, this young man put together a memorable first season, scoring on an 82-yard touchdown pass against Troy and added another touchdown on the ground against FIU. For his accomplishments on the field, he was named to the SBC Writers All-Freshman Team. For his accomplishments in the classroom, he has presented this Raiders' Choice Award for Academic Achievement. Our Mayo winner for 2012 is Reggie Watley.
Rounding out our academic awards is the Team GPA Award. Please welcome MTSU's top academic officer, University Provost Dr. Brad Bartell. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is a wonderful thing when our student athletes compete as hard in the classroom as they do on the field. We're fortunate at Middle Tennessee to have chosen coaches that foster an atmosphere and encourage their student athletes to reach the highest level of athletics and academics. Competitors at heart, each one of them and each one of our teams would love to be sitting on the top of the heap with the highest team grade point average. I have a dream that all 17 teams win this award with a collective 4.0 grade point average. <laughs> Our athletes are the best collectively and among the very best academically and athletically in the Sun Belt Conference and in the nation. Our winning team tonight posted an impressive 3.49 grade point average. Tonight, I am proud to present the Raiders Choice Award for the highest team grade point average over the past year to the Blue Raider soccer team. Thank Miss Carroll, our academic advisor, and uh, our coaches, and basically everyone else on the team. So, thank you. 